If you can, please download or print out the PDF file on the description below so you can work with me. This line cut the Y axis at this point here. So this is called Y intercept. So let's say this point here cut the Y axis as C to write in point form. So we can write this is 0 C because along the Y axis X is always equal to 0. And at this point here because the line cut through X axis. So this is called X intercept. Let's say this line cut through X value at K. So this point can write as k 0 because along the x axis y is equal to 0. So in another word, to find x intercept, y must equal to 0 because along this line here y is always equal to 0. Similarly, to find the uh, y intercept, x is equal to 0 because along the line here x is always equal to 0. Let's do a few examples. First one, to sketch this graph, so we can find x intercept first, or you can find y intercept first, doesn't really matter. Now to find x intercept, this means that when y is equal to 0. So when y equal to 0, we just solve this equation, so we put 0 in there. So 0 is equal to 3x minus 4. So we just move this minus 4 on this side. That become 4 is equal to 3x. Then I divide this by 3. Divide this by 3. This cancel out. So therefore, x is equal to 1 and a third. Then the next step is to find y-intercept. To find y-intercept, this means that when x is equal to 0, so when x is equal to 0, we just substitute this into this equation here. So y equals 3 lots of 0 minus 4. 3 times 0 is 0. So 0 minus 4 is equal to negative 4. So therefore, y is equal to negative 4. So now we can just graph that. So this is y-axis and this is x-axis. Now x-intercept is equal to 1 and a third. So just roughly here. It doesn't have to be exact. So I just write 1 and a third. And y is equal to negative 4. So we just roughly, okay? So this is negative 4. So now what we need to do is just joining the point together. There you go. So this is y is equal to 3x minus 4. Next one. So step number one, we can find x-intercept first. x-intercept is when y is equal to 0. So when y is equal to 0, so 4x plus 2 loss of 0 is equal to 5. So 2 times 0 is 0. So this becomes 0. So 4x is equal to 5. And I divide everything by 4. So x is equal to 1 and a quarter. Then we can find y-intercept. So to find y-intercept, because it's along the y-axis, so of course x is equal to 0. So when x is equal to 0, so 4 times 0, I just substitute into the equations. So 4 times 0 plus 2y is equal to 5. So 4 times 0 is 0. So this is 0. So 2x. So 2y is equal to 5. Then I divide this by 2, divide this by 2, so y is equal to 2.5 or 2.5. So in another word, y-intercept is 2.5 and x-intercept is equal to 1.25.
So please take note, you can see we have positive x intercept and positive y intercept as well. So I don't need too much on the negative side, okay? So just keep that in mind. So x in a quarter, it's just roughly here. It doesn't really matter. It's just a x and y intercept. But make sure you label the value. So this is x and this is y. And y intercept is two and a half. So a bit higher than one and a quarter. So which is right two and a half here. So now we just join the point together. There you go. This is 4x plus 2y is equal to 5. Next one. So to sketch this, we find x intercept first. So x intercept is when y is equal to 0. So when y equals 0, so 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. And I move the 3 on the side. 2x is equal to 3. Divide everything by 2. So x is 1.5 or 1 and a half. So this is x intercept. Then we need to find y intercept. To find y intercept, that is when x is equal to 0. So this means that 2 lots of x, it means 0, plus 3, y plus minus 3 is equal to 0. So this becomes 0. So 3y minus 3 is equal to 0. To solve this, I move the negative 3 on this side, so it becomes positive. So 3y is equal to 3. I divide by 3 on both sides. So y is equal to 1. So now the y intercept is 1. x intercept is 1 and a half. And y is equal to 1. So 1 is roughly here. So which is 1. So it's just roughly. That's all. And just connect these two points together. There you go. So this is 2x plus 3y minus 3 is equal to 0. Please stop the video and try this one yourself. First one, we need to find x intercept first, or you can find y intercept, doesn't matter which one you go first. So x intercept is when y equals 0, so that means 2x minus 2 is equal to 0. To move on this side, so negative 2 become positive. So 2x is equal to 2, I divide by 2 on both sides, so x is 1. So now we find y-intercept. So y-intercept means when x is equal to 0. So when x is equal to 0, so 2 times 0 is 0. Negative y minus 2 is equal to 0. So I can move this y on this side. So negative 2 is equal to positive y. So y. So in another word, y is equal to negative 2. So we have x intercept is 1, y intercept is negative 2. So x is equal 1, so it's here, and y intercept is negative 2, should be here, negative 2. So now we just join these two points together. So y, so 2x minus y minus 2 is equal to 0. Second one, 3x plus 2y is equal to 1. So step number 1, we need to find x intercept first. So to find x intercept, it means when y is equal to 0. So when y is equal to 0, so 3x 
plus 2 times 0 is 0. So just 3x is equal to 1. And I divide thing by 3. So x is equal to a third. And then we can find y intercept. So y intercept, it means when x is equal to 0. So when x is equal to 0, so 3 times 0 is 0. So left with 0 plus 2y. So 2y is equal to 1. I divide thing by 2. So y is equal to a half. x intercept is a third. So I just drew a third here. And y is equal to half. So you know that a half is larger than a third. So we just write roughly here somewhere. It doesn't really matter as long as you label properly and the scale is relative. So this is a half. So now we just join them together. So don't forget to put an arrow on it. So this is 2x plus 2y is equal to 1. Last one. So we can find y intercept first or x intercept, doesn't matter. So I just find x intercept first. So x intercept is when y is equal to 0. So this means that 0 is equal to 3x minus 5. I move the negative 5 on that side. So 5 is equal to 3x. I divide everything by 3. So x must be equal to 1 and 2 third. Then to find y intercept, that is when x is equal to 0. So y is equal to 3 loss of 0 minus 5. So therefore y is equal to negative 5. Just take note on this because x intercept is positive and y intercept is negative. So therefore we need the negative y value a bit more. So in another word, we make this graph up here a little bit. So 1 and 2 third is roughly here. So 1 and 2 third. So 1 to 7 is negative 5. So here somewhere, so just put negative 5 here. And we just connect these two points together. So this is it, y is equal to 3x minus 5. Thank you so much for watching.